everyone welcome back to my student teaching vlog today i want to take you on a journey through my first semester of on-campus student teaching internship at the Silliman university senior high school it has been an incredible roller coaster of experiences challenges and growth when i first entered college specifically the college of education the idea of student teaching seemed like a breeze no more exams no more memorization of concept and no more of the typical first, second year, third year student of the College of Education routines. It was just purely student teaching. Little did I know it, it was a whole different ballgame, especially when I found out that I'd be teaching oral communication. I anticipated teaching in the junior high school program when Mam Bunyor asked us which in, in a spreadsheet which program they would, would we like to teach English subjects and I giddily Remember that I wrote I prefer junior high school, but life had a different plan for me When I learned about my deployment to the senior high school the idea of handling young adults Presented a whole new set of challenges But I knew in deep inside me that I was ready to embrace it my student teaching Journey will not our experience will not be possible without the great help of my cooperating teacher Sir John Edgar Rubio from the moment I saw his name on the list I knew I was in for challenge because previously I knew the student teacher He handled so I know the expectations His credibility and I knew that also that he is one of the best teacher in the senior high school department but yeah the rumors are true. He turned out to be a great and incredible mentor. Mr. Rubio isn't just a teacher, a typical teacher. He is a seasoned facilitator of learning. He models exceptional teaching skills and is always down to earth. His feedback was constructive, always focusing on the improvement rather than criticism. I am grateful for the valuable lesson he imparted, especially in creating a strong and coherent lesson plan. This is also the time when I was able to really appreciate that a lesson plan isn't just a random set of activities that you put together and hopefully you can somehow magically weave them together. This is the time I learned that a lesson plan is a careful selection of resources or activities and ensure that this activities is connected related and somehow build up to the practice and later on prepares them for the assessment period so I am really thankful that Sir Rubio modeled this and trained me really well to craft a good good lesson plan that satisfy the objectives of the lesson he also consistently emphasizes that our lesson shouldn't solely focus on the concept that the students might forget later instead he believed in incorporating values that would leave a lasting impact he often reminds us ask his ST to consider the so what aspect of the lessons even if students forget the specific concept the enduring value of learning stays with them I recalled one instance when this is I recalled so many instances when this idea or value is applied but once one stood out really is when students were asked to do a performance task and they are to recreate a scene from a famous Filipino Filipino films and all they have to do is to act and somehow repair the breakdown that happened in the scenario so it is when the time that students really didn't just focus on learning the concept of communication but rather they were able to appreciate the value the so what of learning that concept because they are able to really apply and bridge the gap and repair the communication breakdown that's handed to them so that's a good good way of incorporating values in lesson but then came my reality check managing a classroom full of diverse students wasn't easy as i thought teaching isn't just about delivering a lesson it was about managing a classroom full of diverse personality i can also recall that sir ruby didn't provide us with so many 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 things so many many notes when we had our first student teaching I, I i remember i thought about verbal and nonverbal communication and he just said go and explore the classroom first and after that i will give you my feedback and my comments so when i jumped into the class 
ready to discover the first student teaching experience that I had. I was really um, blown away by the idea that teaching isn't really just about delivering or reporting a lesson to the student. It's more than that. You have to manage students with diverse personalities and some students pay attention others are not and it's up to you to implement strategies that could somehow target to student to listen to you and manage the whole classroom so it's really a revelation for me there are silent sections there are partic- participative sections each day brought a new challenges but what I learned the most was that teaching is not a one-way street. I was learning from my student as much as they are learning from me. I was also surprised when I do lessons, when I ask students to give an answer. There's a good, specific, unique perspective that these students give and other students also adds. So I realized that, wow, if I'm in the classroom like this, students are so rich of experiences and they bring these experiences in the classroom and this makes the discussion such a fulfilling discussion in a way because you are able to somehow learn from your students and um, share with us share with them a slice of a perspective that you somehow yield or um, you somehow process so that others will learn also so i think it's a good thing that our lesson should always ask students their perspective their ideas because they really have a good ideas to share or to to impart so fast forward to the end of the semester the moment of truth the final student teaching demonstration the nerves were real especially as i watched my fellow student teacher go through theirs because we are, were assigned by mambo new york to be a body of one or two student teacher i was assigned to teach speech according to delivery sounds so simple but the planning phase was nothing short of exhausting because i want to make this lesson really like not a typical delivery of speech according to delivery i want to make it more exciting so that's when i decided that i will have to anchor this on the barangay sangudian ng kabataan elections and with determination and the negotiation with my student, a cooperating teacher i transformed the classroom into a stage with podium and real life campaign materials i said that if i had to deliver the, this lesson and anchor it on the barangay sangudian kabataan election i have to make the classroom experience as immersive and close to reality as possible and can't believe I made through it. The nerves were there, but so was the excitement. It, I owe huge thanks to my panelists, Dr. Bunyor, Dr. Katan, Mamaila, and my cooperating teacher, Sir Rubio, for their support and constructive feedback. It's moments like these that make you realize the importance of continuous improvement. And I will take good note of their comments and suggestions, and I will ensure that I will be able to implement or to, to improve them in the next semester of student campus student off-campus student teaching so also i would like to give a shout out to the college of education for the invaluable trainings from navigating the online platform to the lessons and lesson planning and curriculum mapping these sessions were instrumental in shaping my teaching approach this semester so that wraps up my first semester of on-campus student teaching at the Silliman university senior high school i am grateful for the experiences the challenges and the growth and next semester i'm heading to the public school and i can't wait really to apply all the lessons i've learned stay tuned for more adventure in teaching until then i will be staying in touch with you through my weekly vlogs and wish me luck for my next semester of student campus teaching until then happy teaching bye